Hello, hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I like to do shutters. These are door sliding shutters. We do a lot of window shutters as well. Uh, in this case, I've taken these ones off because we are painting both sides. A lot of the time, you do get a fixed shutter or one that just opens up in the center of a window. Uh, in that case, I'll just tape up the back of the window uh, and that way end your surround and then you can go through and you can do the exact same process what I'm doing here as long as you've got everything covered up uh, that's pretty much all you need to do I'll give you a bit of a rundown on the way a professional painter will do it and the application and I will give you a rundown on a quick simple DIY um, way you can do it with the products also so let's get on to it peeps, appreciate you as always tuning in, jump on, give us a like, subscribe and show us some of that Peeper J love, 100%. So first, most important for the job, you need a duster, you need a sanding pad, preferably between 180 to 240 grit, but if they are in bad condition as well, I'd probably start with a 120, then um, move down or up in your grit. Uh, I said sanding pad and a rag, because a lot of the time, a lot of the top sections of the shutters um, collect a lot of dust, and before you go sanding, you need to give them a good wipe down first, uh, and then, yeah, the next process after that, sand, dust down, uh, and then we can start putting on our primers. So first of all, go through, and I just give them a good wipe down each, each run, just to get any of that hard build up dust off. Because then we get, if we go running our sandpaper over the dust, it's just going to clog up and it's not going to do its job. So, yeah, go through, give all the all the panels. So go through, give them all a good wipe down. That's all they pretty much need. And then you can go through and give them a good sand after that. I have already done this process, but I just wanted to jump on and show you exactly how I've done it. And here we are. We just gave it all a good wipe down. Now we go through each run. You don't want to lose yourself as well when you're sanding because you've got so much stuff to sand. So you always sort of want to start off with the process. So if that's go around the whole perimeter first, or do your top section of your perimeter, go through, do your top of your slates, your bottom, and then your edges, and then do that the whole way down instead of um, you know going from one section to another and everything like that you will end up missing uh, areas you will have forgotten actually where you are up to so yeah it always go into a process even when you're sanding anything you like to do it you know in a certain way so you're not losing yourself or what you are sanding if that makes sense so after we've given them all a good sand down, it's all really important peeps. A lot of people I do talk to, you know, they're like, why do you dust it down? Just, you know, it mixes in with the paint or, you know, when you're blowing with your spray gun, it just blows away. And for me, I always like to dust everything down. There's no real point sanding um, if you're not gonna get off the sanding dust because a lot of the time that can cause big adhesion problems and we never want that. We always want it to be rock solid. So wherever areas, well, after you've sanded the whole thing, you want to go through, dust everything down. So in between all your slats, you want to get top and bottom of each. So I always usually go on one side, do this side, turn it over, do this side, then I'll turn the actual whole shutter around and dust down the other side also. So that's pretty much the process. If you've got any areas, I'll quickly show you this over here. A lot of this was, I'm getting a fair bit of um, sun coming through. So I had a fair few of these starting to flake. So if you need to get a 120 sandpaper on these, give them a good sand, 
bring it back nice and smooth and then you can run over it with a you know 180 or a 240 grit sandpaper just to smooth it out and then you can apply your primer over that but we do have a fair few to do i think we've got 12 shutters to do we do have a window shutters over here so they're the ones that just open up in the middle uh, but yeah we've taken them off as well it's usually pretty easy to take off the shutters it's usually just fixed at the top and bottom especially the windows anyway uh, so it's usually just a couple of screws but we'll take this back here sit this down all right so that's pretty much what you need when it comes to prep now the next process after it's all been wiped down, sanded, dusted. So the next stage after that is the primer. So this is what I'll be using on this one. I'm going to give go the Zinza Extreme Adhesion Primer. So this is a urethane modified acrylic. It has XIM technology in it so a lot of other uh, jobs i have done bench tops cabinetry and everything like that i have used the, just the xim as the primer but zinza has brought out a primer adhesion that's pretty much guaranteed if you follow the right steps preparation it will stick so this is what i'm going to give a go on this job i will be spraying it through graco 190 I will be using the Contractor Compact uh, and I'll be using the 3R weight FFLP tip with the Zinza as the primer. Moving on from the application to spray and if I was going to do a DIY easy way to get the shutters painted, this is the products I'll be using. So you can get these at you know, pretty much any Dulux store. Uh, this is a all surface primer and this is your top coat here so you can either use you don't have to exactly use these products spray pack prime and a top coat uh, an epoxy enamel or anything like that it's going to do the job so a lot of the time i won't be using the nor glass weather fast i'll be using the Dulux duramax it does the exact same thing so what i'd be doing always give your cans a really good shape you can't you just start to hear the ball move through and around now all right let's give it a good 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 shake shake it up now what i always like to do in this case i would start at the top but i'm just giving you a, a bit of a rundown on how i'll do it if i was going to do a diy job i have got a wider tip on this one as well you're probably looking at about a 15 centimeter fan but as you can see, that's pretty much all you want to do. Just go from one side. So it's pretty much exactly the same as when you are sanding to painting. There's always a process and you don't want to lose yourself because that way you're going to miss um, areas and you're not going to get a beautiful, nice, even finish if you're going from one spot to the other. So always sort of start in one section you know if i was going to do this i'd probably start by doing all my surrounds first so i'd go in in between get all my between all my slates and everything like that so i'd do the perimeter and then i'd go through and do my slats so that's all my shutters whatever you want to call it but that's exactly what um, the process that i'll do when i do it and then i'd flip it around do the other outside edge um, and wait for it to dry and then do the exact same thing with your top coats so it's pretty easy uh, you know for a DIY to do it it's you know follow the right process and the right steps and there's no reason why you can't get a beautiful painted uh, brand new shutter that's it pretty much for the moment so what I'm gonna do now peeps I'm gonna go through I'm gonna set up my gun uh, get the paint through um get all everything connected up make sure everything's completely covered up because you always want to make sure double triple check that you got everything covered up and then we can start putting on some paint always wear your mask and um yeah pump that paint and push that positive all right the next process after 
wiping it all down, giving it a good sand, giving it a dust down, is setting up an area that you can spray, make sure everything's covered up like I said, and yeah, get out your primer. In this one, I am running the Graco PC Compact. I've got the FFLP 308. Many painters ask me what tip I like to use when I'm running any water-based enameled product or primer going over, you know, shutters, any trimming, uh, timber work, cabinetry, anything like that. I always like to use the 308. Uh, perfect whip fan for me, I feel. Uh, so that's a six inch fan. Uh, and then the eight just puts that perfect amount on. It's not too heavy uh, and eliminates a lot of runs. A lot of painters, like I said, they use a 312 or um, something around that and you do get runs, especially you know if the weather conditions um, aren't the best also. So that's what I'm running today and I'll go through and spray it out. Yeah, just a nice light mist coat. You don't want to put it on too heavy. Uh, so yeah, let's get spraying. You can follow me on this one. We'll do this one all together, yeah? So I always like to sort of do my edges first. Then I can pick up even the inside. And just go up as well. So you're getting inside both sections of the tracks. And then just run it through. So then you don't want it too heavy. Just a nice, even, consistent I'll we'll put this here for this little section. There we go. Let's just see how I put it on. It's pretty light, which is what we're after. I've already Spray out these ones. As you can see they're all starting to dry now. So what we'll do, we'll leave this overnight after I've finished spraying them all out and then I'll come back uh, in the morning and start putting on my top coats. But in saying that as well, depending on what products, it is pretty late in the afternoon. So, you know, if I've done this first up in the morning, well then you know, by lunchtime, I'd be able to go through and start laying down my top coats. So you don't I always have to wait the next day, just all depending on what time it is and how far you get and the product and it's drying time, I suppose, or it's curing time. That's where we're at. We will be back to lay down our top coats a bit later on. So, all right, so pretty much at the moment, Primer coat's completely dry, we left it overnight. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through and we're gonna start laying down one of two top coats. We're using the Dulux Steriguard uh, Semi Gloss Acrylic on this one. Uh, as you can see, I've already sprayed first coat on all these ones here. Very nice. So what we're going to do, yeah, we're just going to go through and we'll spray you all these, one, spray this one out together. And I have got the 100 mesh filter and I'm using the FFLP 308 tip. So that's one of my favourite tips when it comes to um, doing any type of trim or anything like that or spraying any water-based acrylic. I, yeah, like I said just before, I find that the 308 is just that perfect um, tip for what I need to get done. Alright peeps, let's blow this out together. Mm. 
Let's go down my inside. So you got this inside edge. And then we go through and bring in the middle. first coat. I didn't want to put it on too heavy because uh, we've got another coat to go over so we'll allow this to dry and then we'll come back over it with the second the second coat. I'll put yours back now um, and we'll spray these ones out also. Alright let's get these ones two done um, and make it happen. So that's pretty much the whole procedure on the way, or the process, on the way I like to do my shutters. So they are going to have another coat, I will spray out my last coat on film, uh, I'll wait for it to dry and I'll show you the finished product. But this is, yeah, the process. This one's I've done first and it's nearly, it's, well it is actually, it's just about dry. So that was the plan, I wanted to go through, first coat them all on the one side pretty much dry, hit them again, and then we can flip them over, spray out the other side two coats, and then we'll let them cure, and then they can be hung. Always leave them a couple of days before you wanna go fix them back up, just so um, you let the paint cure enough so you don't wanna um, damage or ruin your freshly painted work. All right, there we have it. That's first coat. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful, smooth, silky finish. This is the semi-gloss. We're gonna go spray another coat on them now. We've left them probably two to three hours between uh, top coats anyway. So yeah, our last one's gonna get sprayed on now and we'll get it done. All right, here we go. Final coat going on. Pick up the edges first. If you do the face first, and then you do your edge, you will get a bit of mist that comes over onto your face from doing your side, and you will get a cloudy look and finish. So always do your edges first, and then bring through um, your face. We want to move pretty quickly with this stuff. Of 
got to flip it around and do the other sides, but that's exactly the process and the way we're doing it. Up, up, done. There we have it. That's how we prep to paint a timber, sliding door, window, shutters. It's all completely drying off now. We can go on to this one that's, it is dry. I did spray it. The first one I did spray, so we are completely dry on this one that's pretty much the finished product what we're going to do we're going to like I said we always want to leave them at least overnight but preferably a couple of days before we go like you know picking them up and um, trying to fit them back to uh, the tracks so yeah just leave them for a couple of days so now that this side is completely done, two coats, once this dries, flip it around, do the exact same process, and that's completely done. Exactly the same process with the cabinetry, the cupboard doors. It's a product that we are using, the Duolux Steriguard water-based enamel semi-gloss. Appreciate you always tuning in. Thank you for the likes and subscribing. Keep on smashing out all these YouTube videos. If there's anything that you want me to um, put up or anything that you want to be shown, I'll do my best if I know and we'll get a video up for you. I appreciate you always tuning in. Send that love, positive vibes, always.